What's going on everyone? We are back with another potential test in MLB 16 this show. As always, this series is based on your suggestions, so leave a comment down below who you want to see test in a future episode, but today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to do a battle of potential tests. It's Nolan Arenado versus Manny Machado, two young third basements. Which one is going to end up better after five seasons? Arenado, a 96. Machado, a 94. You take a look at Nolan Arenado, a potential. He's got very good power, 88 and 90 power. Contact is very good as well. Durable, clutch, good feeling, fielding, really good. 95 fielding, the arm not quite as good, but still very good fielding stats. So an all-around pretty good player. He's played two seasons in the majors already, and he hit 287. He's actually at 287 last year, but 42 home runs, 130 RBIs last year. Unbelievable. The morale, he is just going to be satisfied because he's unhappy about his contract and very unhappy, but that will fix itself, as you know, after a few seasons. Now, Machado, he has played three years. Currently, a potential 94. Contact, very good. The power, only uh, going to be bad against lefties. 61 versus lefties, 80 versus righties. His clutch is very good. Durability, very good. And his fielding is amazing. 92 fielding, 86, 84 arm strength and accuracy. And his numbers for the past few seasons, last year he hit 286. 35 home runs, 86 RBIs, and stole 20 bases. He does have some injury concerns. He missed a good part of 2014, so we're going to keep an eye out on that. And he's actually unhappy currently, so he's getting minus two. So they're actually rated the same. He's just very unhappy about his contract and, I guess, his role a little bit as well. But we're going to see how do these two guys improve over the course of five seasons. First up, after season number one, Arenado has gone down to a 94, plus one to his contact, minus four to power versus righties, minus seven versus lefties. He gets minus one to his vision, clutch, two to his bunt, two to durability, two to fielding, and his arm, and minus one to reaction and speed. So that's not the kind of change we like to see after the first season. Still only 24 years old, and those are some pretty significant changes. He plays 157 games, he gets 181 hits, 33 home runs, 99 RBIs, and hits 298. So a very good season by normal standards, but for some reason, he has gone down in overall. What does this look like? And he's going to be a star, but is still unhappy about his contract. Very unhappy about his contract. That will change, though, obviously. But he is still just satisfied, so he does go down. And Manny Machado goes down as well, down to a 93. He gets minus 2 to contact versus righties, plus 1 to lefties, plus 2 to his power. But minus 6 to his power versus lefties, minus 1 to his vision and clutch and his bunt and durability and his arm and all of his fielding stats, plus 5 to his stealing, though. So I guess that's one good thing. But otherwise... Minuses all around. He plays 157 games, 171 hits, 30 home runs, 63, 83 RBIs, excuse me, 11 stolen bases, and hits 282. So very good numbers for him as well, but he is going to go down, and let's see his morale, and he is still unhappy, so still actually he is a 95 getting that minus two because he's very, very unhappy about his contract. But as I said, that will fix itself. So let's move on now. After season number two, how are they going to change from here? And Arenado is going to be down again. He's down to a 91 overall, minus five to his contact, plus one to power versus righties, but minus nine to his power versus lefties, minus one to bunt, and his durability, and his fielding, and his arm, plus two to stealing, but that's so low. It's really insignificant. But that is a uh, disappointing first couple seasons here as he goes... What, 133 hits, 24 home runs, 70 RBIs, but the average, wow, down to 229. So not only is there a dip in power, there's a huge dip in his average. So he's now down to a 91 overall. This is not the way this is supposed to go. He's going backwards here instead of improving. He is just satisfied, unhappy with the coaching, but he is okay with his contract and his team role. Individual performance is a little bit obviously below average. And Machado, he is up. There we go. That's what we like to see. Up to a 96, back up to a 96, plus four to his contact versus righties, plus one to lefties, minus one to his power versus righties, but plus one to his power versus lefties. Vision, discipline, his bunt's going to go down one. His feeling is going to go down one. His speed's going to go down one as well. But still, his feeling's so high. He does get hurt, though, during this season. 113 games, 136 hits, 23 home runs, 66 RBIs, 7 stolen bases, and he hits 307. So obviously the numbers are still there, but the injury concerns are a little bit uh, something to be aware of because he is a little bit injury prone. Is still just satisfied. Still, even after a contract bump, already unhappy with his contract, but he is uh, happy with his team role and his individual performance. So he is a 96. So he separated himself a little bit from Arenado, but we're going to move on now. Season number three, Arenado was a 91. What's he going to be now? Back up to a 93. So here we're going to see minimal changes. Minus two to contact versus lefties. Plus three to power versus righties. Minus four, though, to his power versus the lefties. That keeps going down. Plus one to discipline, and then plus one to bunt, and that is it. 161 games he plays, almost a complete season. 162 hits, 33 home runs, 103 RBIs, and the average back up, but still low at 254. So the power returns there. 
The RBI is the second highest, and he is actually happy as well, so he's picking up a plus one bump, so he actually had no change. He still would have been a 91, but he is going to be happy because of his contract in his team role. Now Machado is going to go actually up to a 97. I don't know why it's saying down because he was a 96 last year, but he goes minus one to contact righty, plus two versus lefties. The power versus lefties changes one. Vision down three. Discipline down two. Minus one to clutch, bunt, durability. His fielding stats again all going down one. And then the steals go up one. He plays 150 games, so back to a full season. 173 hits, 33 home runs, 134 RBIs, and he hits 289. So a very, very good se season for Machado as you see him keep being really consistent, and he is going to be happy, so he's picking up that plus two. So he is actually, I guess, he did go down to a 95, but he's picking up the plus two bump because he is happy. So Manny Machado looking pretty good. Season number four, what are they going to change to here? Arenado is going to be up to a 92. All right, so here's some improvement. Again, minimal changes. Minus three to his contact versus righty. Plus four to his contact versus lefties. Power versus righty is going to go down three, but the power versus lefties back up eight. That's a big jump. Discipline plus one and reaction plus one. That is it otherwise for the changes. He plays another full season, 156. He hits 147 hits, excuse me, 31 home runs, 85 RBIs, and then the average stick in there right around that 250 mark. So the average has taken a big dip, but the power is definitely, definitely still there. And he is just going to be satisfied, unhappy with his contract, and unhappy with his team performance, the Rockies. Not doing so hot. But now Machado, what's he going to change to? And he's back down to a 96, plus two to his contact versus righties. Plus, or excuse me, minus two for his power versus righties, minus six for his power versus lefties, plus one division, and minus three to discipline, minus one to speed again as well. So minimal changes to Machado. He's now seven years in the league, still only 26 years old, but he plays 153 games, 167 hits, 23 home runs, 87 RBIs, 17 stolen bases, and he hits 291. So the average is still there. The steals back up, the power down a little bit, the RBI is way down from last year. But he is going to be still happy, so he's still picking up the plus two bump, and he is unhappy with his contract, but very happy with the coaching and his team role, so that is good to see. Now we have one more season to go here, and you see Machado has separated himself a little bit in these last few years, but how is it going to end? Season number five, what are they going to change to? Arenado is going to be a 91, minus two for his contact versus righties, minus three versus lefties. Plus three for his power versus righties, but the power versus lefties bit went basically back down. Minus six after the plus eight last year. Plus one to his vision, minus one to discipline, and minus one to his reaction. He plays another full season, has 149 hits, 32 home runs, 93 RBIs, and hits 257 again. So Arenado, uh, a little bit disappointing. Obviously, as I said, he has the power numbers, but the average really dropped off, and I think that's maybe what's going to keep him from being a real complete player. But he is very durable, played every season a full season, which cannot be said for Machado. But his morale is going to be just satisfied again. He's happy with everything, so I'm not really sure what's keeping him from being happy. But either way, he is just going to stick in a 91. Machado, on the other hand, is going to go up to a 97, plus one to his contact versus righties, plus three for lefties, plus two for his power versus lefties, minus one to his drag bunt, minus one to arm accuracy, reaction, and speed, though, as you don't want to see that. But he does play another full season. He has 169 hits, 28 home runs, 110 RBIs, six stolen bases, and hits 278. So 278 is going to be the lowest he hits since his rookie season. But the uh, power back up, the RBIs back up, so... That is very, very good to see from Machado as 97 overall. Very, very good end for him. Eight seasons in, still just 27 years old, and clearly a, a very good player. His morale is going to be happy, so he is a true 95, but picking up the pluses there from the coaching and his team role. So in our first ever potential test battle, the win is going to go to Manny Machado. He just kind of kept progressing while Arenado kind of went backwards a little bit. Manny Machado, obviously an absolute thumbs up. Whether you're playing as the Orioles, definitely hold on to him. Or if you have the opportunity to trade for him, this guy is a cornerstone that you can build around. Arenado, on the other hand, not necessarily someone that you can build around, but still is a very good player. He has very good durability. You can rely on him not to get hurt, and he has the power numbers. He had 223 home runs, 693 RBIs right there with Machado on the RBIs and a little bit more than for the home runs than Machado, but the average just isn't there. It completely dropped off after that first season, which is really surprising to see. So Arenado, I'm still going to give him a thumbs up. Definitely go after him if you can, but I wouldn't give up the farm to build your team around this guy because he's just... Not that kind of player. Machado, on the other hand, is. So that is going to be it for both of these guys in the potential test. As I said at the beginning of the episode, let me know who you want to see in future episodes in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this one, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.